Hey guys, welcome to Good Coffee at Home with Tag. Today we're going to learn one of the most common pour over methods, a V60. For this free method, we'll need a few different things. A bag of coffee, obviously from Tag. A V60. A carafe or anything big enough to hold your coffee. A scale. If you don't have a scale, we recommend a tablespoon scoop. A kettle to pour your water over your coffee grounds. And a burr grinder. If you don't have a burr grinder, you can always order pre-ground coffee from tagcoffee.com. We're also going to need a paper filter. These filters are designed specifically for V60 and you can find them on Amazon. For the V60, our recipe is going to be 700 milliliters of water or you can pour two medium coffee cups of water into your kettle. We're going to use 42 to 45 grams of coffee or 5 to 6 pre-ground tablespoons. Our water temperature should be around 210 degrees Fahrenheit and our coffee will be medium ground. The first thing that we're going to do is weigh out our coffee. We're going to pour 42 to 45 grams of whole bean coffee into our cup, or you can pour 5 to 6 pre-ground tablespoons of coffee. Since we're using whole bean, we're going to put them on our burr grinder and grind medium. Now that our coffee is ground, we can start our pour. The first thing that we want to do though is take our paper filter and fold it on the seam that you find on the side of the filter. After you've folded it over, place it inside your V60. The next important step is to rinse your V60 filter with hot water. Completely soak the filter because this helps to get rid of the paper taste that would seep into your coffee. After you've soaked the whole filter, dump out the water out of your carafe so that it doesn't mix in with the coffee that you're about to brew. While he's gone, how about some trivia? What state did Levi start roasting coffee in? Texas, Tennessee, Georgia, or Alabama? Tennessee. While we're originally from Texas, our coffee journey started in Tennessee. After you've dumped the water, we need to straighten out our filter in our V60. We also want to remove the suction between the filter and the V60 because if you don't, it could really slow down your pour. Now we're going to dump our coffee grounds into the V60. We want our grounds bed to be nice and even, so take your V60 and give it a little shake just to flatten that out so that we have a consistent pour. Don't forget to tear your scales so that we start with fresh weight and time. We're going to start with our bloom. Our bloom is going to be 90 grams of water and we're going to let that sit for 45 seconds. After 45 seconds, we're going to use a somewhat aggressive pour at first, starting in the middle of our grounds bed and working our way out, and then back in and back out, completely soaking our coffee. Half of your pour should be completed after about a minute and 45 seconds of your total break time. As you continue to pour, some people prefer the pulsing method and some people do one long continuous pour. Whichever method you prefer is great. We just need to finish our pour around two and a half minutes to two minutes and 45 seconds. At the end, our total pour will be around 700 grams of coffee. Our next step is the most important one stir your coffee. If you want to know more about why we stir our coffee, stay tuned. 
because we're going to be releasing some in-depth coffee science videos about things that just make your coffee really great. After you've stirred, get your favorite tag mug and pour it up. This recipe makes two cups of coffee so you can either share with a friend or have a second cup yourself. Either way, enjoy some really good tag coffee. Oh, that's better. Tag has good coffee. Okay. Cut her out. That's a wrap.